In this video, we're going to talk about the root selector in CSS. And I created just a very simple web page in this video just because I want you to understand the concept of how this works. Because we're going to be using the root selector in CSS variables, which is the next set of videos that I'm going to create. So again, I just wanted you to understand how the root selector works because we're going to be using it in the CSS variables videos. Now, the CSS root selector is becoming more and more important. More and more CSS developers are using it because it allows you to basically make a change against your entire web document. That is, it works against the HTML element itself. So everything inside of here, and that's nice because websites are becoming more and more complex. You have thousands of elements, that's not uncommon. So really this gives you the ability to make a change to the entire web document. And the nice thing about it is you do not have to specify a class, like right here. We create a class, we don't need that. Actually, we're not going to even use this, but I just wanted to keep it here so that you remember how we created CSS classes, but we don't have to create a class here. We don't even need to do it. It's considered a pseudo class, and that means, again, you just specify it in your CSS code, and it will do the work automatically for you. So again, this will allow us to make a complete change to our web document. So let's go over to our style sheet and we're going to go ahead and create our root element. And it's very simple. You just put in a colon and then you type in root. And there you go. That's all we needed to do. Again, we don't have to specify this over in our HTML document. We can just put it in our CSS code. So let's say we wanted to change the background color of our web page. Well, we can do that right in here because that's something you want to do globally. And you will remember we used to change that in the body. That's how I did it before in previous lectures. Well, that's not really the standard procedure anymore. The standard procedure is to use the root element if you want to do that. So let's go ahead and specify background color. And then let's go ahead and we'll specify aqua. And you can see that's a terrible color. Nobody would do that, but you get the idea of how this works. So again, this is very useful if you want to make a complete change to your web page and you don't have to go in and find the element and define a class. You can just do it really quickly with the pseudo class. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's say we wanted to change the color of the text. Well, we know that you use the color property for that. And let's go ahead and change it to green. Or no, you know what? Let's use, let's do blue. And there you can see, we did that globally. We didn't have to go to this paragraph element and put in a class here. It applied it globally. So again, this was a very short video. I just wanted you to understand the concept of how the root element works. It's very simple once you see it in practice. And again, it's something a lot of CSS developers are using more and more now. That's sort of the standard procedure. So that's why I wanted to create this video. Now in the next video, we're actually going to start using CSS variables, another very important topic. And we're going to use the root CSS element to do that. Thanks a lot.